Hello everyone, this is the Hawkeye Firefly uh, Micro HD Cam. Well, let's, let's just jump into the flight footage. We'll come back for everything else afterwards. It weighs 15.62 grams. The mount weighs 8.16 grams. So together it's 23.77 grams. Measures this that way, and this that way, and this that way. It comes with this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and one of these. I'm sure you noticed the jitters on that 720p recording, and I've done this a few times, and every time the 720p recording has always had those jitters or kind of stuck frames. It's interesting that the audio continues to record at the normal rate. But it doesn't happen, or at least it hasn't happened in my case when we're recording in 1080p, just in the 720p. So that's something to be of note. But really, do we care that much? Because 720p, why would we record? There's no benefit. You just 
you know have a smaller file a smaller resolution um, lower bit rate I think for the most part for our purposes and flying micros we're going to record at 1080p so we can get um, the fullest picture that we possibly can I think the direct competitor is going to be these little cameras like this. This is the SQ12, I believe. Uh, they come in about similar price, $26.99 for the Hawkeye Firefly Micro Action Cam. And this, I think, came in... I may be mistaken, but I think this came in more expensive than that. But something else that's interesting about this, if we, if we look at them... If I line up the front glass here with the nose of the other camera, and I'll try to get that to where you can see it... I don't think I have it quite lined up. Okay, there we go. That form factor just looks like maybe it had to be extended ever so slightly because of a battery size. Uh, it could be a sensor. I haven't torn this down, so I don't know where everything's located in there. But the layout is so eerily similar that the change is quite minor, I would suspect. Um, so we could obviously decase this, and it doesn't have any screws in it that I have seen. It looks like we would just pop something in this hole right here, if you can see that, and then pry the case off, probably from this side down. Uh, we do have this loop in here that's like a security loop to where you put this little uh, lanyard through there, and then it can hang from your wrist or from your neck or something of that nature, maybe from a tree branch if you chose to. Uh, and here's a, a view of the front lenses. Hopefully I can make that visible to you. To my eye, those lenses look very, very similar. My recollection of the SQ12 was that it had a um, lower quality image than the Hawkeye. And, and this company makes cameras. Um, I have one of theirs. I actually have a couple of theirs cameras. This is the S7. I have an S6 around as well. Uh, more of the traditional GoPro Hero form factor. And of course, it has a similar weight to those form factors as well. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty pleased, even with the 720 f 720p frame recording sticking. I would just record in 1080p, and that's what I would show people. Uh, I think a lot of people, they don't understand why we fly quads, and they don't understand that feeling. And I think part of it comes from being on the sticks and in the goggles and completely immersed. And another part comes from the fact that when they do see that stuff in our DVRs, it just doesn't look that pleasing to the eye. And if I were to try to get somebody new to understand why I enjoy it, I would probably show them video from this camera. And at $26.99, it's pretty tough to beat. Um, I'm not going to say it's the absolute best camera out there for our purposes, but I think it is in my experience from all the cameras that I've had, from all these different little lines, Mobius Minis, 808 keychain cameras, various eBay cameras that I've bought off of um, eBay. This is just just better. Um, I was pretty happy with it. And even with the audio being so crazy loud, there are things that we might be able to find that we can do. We might be able to put uh, inside the case a little muffler, those little hairy things that keep the wind down. That might help to get, make the audio a little bit better. The audio processing, there's not much more we can do about that, so the clarity of it. But typically with quad videos, you bring the audio way down just so it's kind of almost background so I don't see that as uh, a big drawback either um, you know if you were recording this and you had it on a, a motorcycle or something like that and you wanted full crisp clear audio I don't know why you do that but maybe you would that could be a downside but for our purposes and flying micros um, I think this works out pretty well I did modify this this base just a touch so when I weighed that up um, keeping that into account is important because I did shave off oh you know a tenth of a gram or something like that uh, something else I thought I would bring up this is how I modify things this is a diamond file needle set and uh, I think I got this off of eBay I'll link it down below but it comes with a lot of different sizes and you can see this one here is the one I used and uh, it's it's rounded and these come in real handy. They come in handy for fiber, uh, carbon fiber, excuse me. And sometimes I have to modify a frame ever so slightly to get to go together very well. And what I'll do is I'll just take these over to a sink and I'll run water um, over the area that I'm filing and then I'll do the filing. And that way all the carbon just goes right down in the water stream. Uh, so that can help make things a bit safer if you're doing any carbon filing or otherwise just modding. I just, I just find this very handy and I haven't had a problem with it wearing down because I do believe it's... It's not cheap. Uh, I, my recollection was it was around 30 bucks, but you can hit the link below and you can uh, take a look at this, see if it would be handy in your tool set for the things that we do in this hobby. So this thing is pretty dead simple. We've got uh, a power button and a mode button. So you, if you look right through that hole, I know I'm controlling which way you look. All right, we got a light. 
I don't know how that light is going to appear to you right now, but it's kind of green and blue. There's actually two lights down there. There's a blue light and a green light. The green light is kind of farther back this way, and the blue light's a little bit more forward. Uh, so right now, I think that is in the 720p mode. So if we were to press the power button, see how it flashes green and blue? I think it'll appear green and blue on the camera. So it's 720p recording, recording my monitors and stuff up there. Press it again to stop. Press this to change our mode. So now it's full green. And we're recording now 1020p, supposedly. The files do come out, they're motion JPEG uh, compression. Um, let's see, the frames per second is 30, right on the nose. Uh, the bit rate, according to the files that I've used and using in Video Inspector to look at them, let's see, 37, uh, 30,701 kilobits per second. The quality factor is 0.51, whatever that means. Uh, we have audio, which it only comes through on one channel, even though we seem to have, it's either venting or audio. I'm not sure. We've got two of these little areas where audio could be coming in, or this could be the audio whole fry, I know maybe this is just venting. I haven't pulled it apart. But we only have one channel of audio that's recorded into the file. Uh, it's The sample rate is 32,000 kilohertz, or hertz. Uh, the bit rate is 512 kilobits per that, and it is using the Microsoft PCM format. And that's really about all you have to know about the file types. I think the next thing that we need is we need a TPU mount. So who's up for creating the first TPU mount for this? And if you find one, please link it down below. Obviously, I'm looking for different camera angles. Um, I'm not completely bombing around the yard. I did have to reduce my camera angle a little bit in order to make the two cameras line up. Um, I'd like to get back to my normal. I, I don't even know what I fly at. I just kind of put it where I think it needs to be, and then I go fly and have fun. Uh, so I think it's probably somewhere around 35 degrees, maybe even more. I'm not certain about that, but, you know. Mounts, you know, for you, those of you that create mounts, it's probably pretty easy for you to create mounts with varying uh, angles in them, you know, a different mount for each angle size. So I think that would help improve our durability because I think this is going to be pretty rigid up to the point where it breaks. I think we can also probably save a gram or two or maybe more with using a TPU mount. So what do you think? What Would you get one? Are you planning on getting one? Do you already have one? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.